uh, these these shameless Trumpsters will remain shameless Trumpsters. We do know how history writes this. That we know that everyone who defends Donald Trump right now will be exposed. And their families, their children, their grandchildren, everyone. Wow, just when you thought you've heard and seen it all. It looks like old Joe's still butthurt over Trump's tweets about Mika being low IQ. Yesterday on MSDNC, Joe Scarborough completely lost his mind and thought it might be a good idea to not just threaten the families of Trump supporters, but future generations of families. We do know how history writes this. We we know. know that everyone who defends Donald Trump right now will be exposed. And their families, their children, That's what I never their grandchildren, Everyone. Oh, really, Joe? Exposed for what exactly? The worst you could say is that they're backing the president based on purely partisan motives. But how is that any different from politics at any other time or this impeachment process for that matter? The entire thing has been an utterly partisan circus. I just want to point out something that I've noticed over and over again with the media and these grandiose, soaring, religious-like lectures. They're always very general and vague in their hyperbolic accusations. What will Trump supporters be exposed for? What have Pence and Barr done that's supposedly corrupt? Especially when we consider the actions of Obama administration officials like Lois Lerner and Eric Holder, both of whom are protected by these people. Bill Clinton was fiercely defended by Democrats and the media. Will Clinton go before the the Senate trial. Never. He's, why would he go up there and be questioned by those Republicans and put his presidency at risk? There are real questions about separation of powers, and I don't think he should go up there. And second of all, that that, that herd of managers from the House. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> frankly, all they, all they were missing quickly, was white sheets. The they were like night riders. He faces trial early next year and possible removal from office by the U.S. Senate. He also faces political pressure to resign. The president says flatly, no. In an atmosphere of rancor and partisanship, the there were more calls on the House floor today for President Clinton's resignation. But does that reflect what the American public wants? According to our new poll, the answer is no. If the president should be impeached, history is going to question whether or not this was just a partisan lynching. The media even went as far as to attack and malign Bill Clinton's accusers. Jennifer Flowers who was paid by the tabloid star to tell her story involving Bill Clinton and to play her tapes of alleged Clinton phone conversations has the look of every married woman's nightmare. Sleek, sexy, a blonde femme fatale. Sam, if, if somebody's willing to pay you $130,000 or $170,000 to uh, say something and you get your 15 minutes of fame and you get your picture on the front page of every newspaper and you're some failed cabaret singer who uh, doesn't even have uh, much of a... A resume to fall back on and what's there she's lied about you know that's the daughter of willie horton as far as i'm concerned are those people being held accountable of course not they're lionized as heroes in the left-wing media so once again and as always we're dealing with political hacks that are just trying to enforce double standards everyone who has their last name will carry that around with them if if they decide to continue lying for a failed reality TV host. Carry what around with them? What are you talking about? Why are you so vague? Because you're full of <laughs> And this is all just kabuki theater red meat for your hardcore leftist audience. In case you didn't notice, Joe Scarborough has definitely adopted the Nazi takeover fan fiction narrative that's become so popular on the left. He's framing all of this as if we're talking about Hitler hiding in a bunker. But Trump is not Hitler, and we're actually talking about the high crime of wanting to invest investigate Democrats. Joe must be a gambling man because when it comes to political predictions, the media doesn't have the best track record. They've been declaring Trump KIA since literally the day he took office. It's a bombshell. Today is a turning point. Today was historically bad for President Trump. Today was a turning point. A turning point. We're at a turning point here. The beginning of the end for the Trump presidency. We have another bombshell. Mike Pence might have to assume the office of the presidency. Rumblings of the word impeachment. Breaking news. Another bombshell out of the White House. I believe this is the beginning of the end. I do too. It's really the beginning of the end. He may be feeling the walls closing in on him. All the walls closing in on him. The walls closing in on him. Breaking news, a new bombshell. One astrologer says this means the beginning of the end for President Donald Trump. Trump will resign. Trump is going to resign. Is this the tipping point? I know we've said it. 
over and over. You think this is a tipping point? And over and over. This is a tipping point. And over and over. I guess they figure that if they just keep doing it, they're bound to be right eventually. I can almost taste the desperation. And it makes sense coming off that cringy Democrat debate. None of these people has a chance against Trump. Not with this economy and not on a socialist platform. Frankly, I'm more interested in what Joe and his comrades think they're going to do to Trump supporters. We now know that Bernie's campaign wants to line us all up against walls and put us in gulags, so maybe this is just a secret desire of all these mental cases. Which, come to think of it, is probably why they want to disarm us all. Just another good reason to give up no ground on the Second Amendment. You know what I'm talking about, Virginia. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification button so you can be alerted to all my new content. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.